Good morning, everybody. Welcome to week number two of HRD 630, Facilitating Adult Learning. And I will be brief this week, promise. Well, first of all, congratulations for everybody, to everybody, for making it through week number one. It's always, it's always a somewhat disjointed first week in any semester. I think it was even so when the, the fall semester starts after Labor Day. But maybe if it starts before Labor Day, it's the same thing. You have Labor Day in there, and so I think the flow of the fall classes take a, take a week or so to get into rhythm. So thanks for the great introductions, and, and uh, thanks for your participation in getting to this point, which is week number two. Week number two starts on September 9th which is a couple of days from now, and I'll get right to the materials. This week, we're, we're, for those that have taken 631, HRD 631, you may find the materials this week somewhat of a review. And, you know, I think most of this class has taken HRD 631 with me, so a lot of the concepts that we're going to be discussing and building are facilitation skills and background and knowledge center in two courses in particular. It could be uh, HRD 600 and HRD 631. So uh, you may be light years ahead with the knowledge, uh, constructing knowledge on what we're talking about this week. So in week number two, it's really about adults are different. How do you start constructing kind of anything how do, how how do adult learners and how do we construct learner centered environments meaning rather than we're, we want our facilitation to be set up so it appeals to the most people and we could say everybody has different learning styles and I was leading a workshop a few weeks ago and somebody brought up um, that all adults are in the same and that's music to my ears because it's a great discussion post. But as we all know, adults do not all learn the same way. It's like all kids don't learn the same way. So having an awareness of how adults learn is important to developing materials for adults and facilitating adult learners. So that's what this is. Um, the introduction, I'll click on that so you can see what's involved. This is the introduction to kind of some basic ideas, knowledge about adult learners and adult learning. Uh, the course goals, these are pulled right from our core overall course goals, but this week we're, we're tying it into course goal number one, four, and five. And then to do this week, well, the first thing is we have two electronic reserve articles. Rather than have you go out and get these articles, I've embedded them right here so you don't have to go any further. Um, a word on the electronic reserve art articles. I'm modifying those. So if you go to electronic reserves, you're not going to, there's, the link isn't working properly, but I'm, I'm not forcing the link to, to work because I'm working behind the scenes to, um, change the format of the electronics reserves and also change some of the articles that are in there. So for the time being, it may say in the actual um, course schedule that we're going to be looking at these particular two articles in week number two, I'll let you know if we're not going to be. But for the time being, in week one and week two, they are the same as what's in the course schedule. So go in here read those. You can skim those. That's part of being a master student. You learn how to skim. You learn how to focus in on certain aspects of it. But just having an understanding of what these articles are and being able to know where they are so you can come back to them is, is important. Also, explore some of the following links in here. A lot of stuff. There's YouTube videos. There's articles. Um, click on a few of those, read through it, and you might say, boy, this is just stuff I know all of, of, from previous classes. That's great. But there may be some folks in the class that they need more of a refresher. So there's a lot of information in here. Please participate in the online discussion. 
and I'll show you that in a minute, and finish reading chapters 11 and 12. And I think there's, I will cover it in a minute. Um, so one last thing, um, I'd like you to attend the optional course overview Zoom meeting, September 10th at 6.30 p.m. And I'll show you where there's information on that in one second. Okay, so the overview video, you're watching that as we speak. Going to the next slide, next bright space. Here's the discussion forum, self explanatory. I do want to say one thing about this. Please, please, please don't spend hours working on this. These are not major assignments, there's worth three points. So, it, it, what I'm looking for is something about 150, 160 words total for each, not for each prompt, but total on a weekly basis. So you can read through those. And then finally, we have an optional Zoom meeting coming up on September 10th at 6.30. Here's the, the um, link. And what I plan to do at that point is to kind of give you an overview of the course and what we will be doing and, and talk about some dates, how the course is scheduled. Bring your Bring any questions that you might have. This is 45 minutes at most. Actually, I have another Zoom meeting at 7.15, so we need to conclude this. I'd love it if the whole class could attend, but if not, we will, um, the information will be there. It will be, re the Zoom meeting will re be recorded, and I'll post it the next day or even that night. So that's it for me. If you have any questions, please let me know. I'm here to help. Bye, everybody. Good luck in week number two.